Nat, Nat 20. 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, where in our previous episode, our adventurers encountered two, another abandoned ship, and then uh, that saw a group of cultists trying to steal loot from another abandoned ship. The adventurers killed these cultists and are now on their ship, and that is where we left off. So, what would you guys like to do? You're, you now are on the cultist ship, there's a ship beside you that you assume was abandoned, and there's also the ship that you came from. I want to loot the cultist. Okay. Just, just, I'm just gonna, just see what they have. Mostly probably take some just coins just like to make a living. Are you gonna just loot all of them? Uh, yeah, I'll just check them okay. all and then... Uh, all together you find about 20 gold pieces, and about 50 silver, and you also find... Uh, what do you find? Uh, you find... You just... Uh, most of the loot that they found on the ship was gold or silver pieces. So that's basically all that you find. Cool. Is there anything flammable on, on the cultist ship? Uh, like, their sail would be flammable. <laughs> and the boat is mostly made of wood. Okay, so. cool. um, I'm still going to stay on my, my ship. Okay. I don't like the sounds of this. <laughs> Shut up. I say we check out the rest of the ship, man. I mean, we'll check okay. out the other ship that they were robbing from. Okay. Sure. Uh, so, you will have to cross on to the cultist ship. To no problem. Them. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. No. Uh, okay. So, you guys go to the next ship over, and you do find it abandoned. The door to the cabin is open, and as well, the trapdoor was too. Uh, if you take a look down at the trapdoor, it does just seem like a storage room for food or wine. When you look down, there is a lot of alcohol in there. Like, more, a lot more than a normal person would drink. And there's alcohol of all kinds. So there's some wine, there's some beer, beer and ale, there's some rum, some dragon fire, uh, alcohol, sorry, dragon fire liquor. Do I know that it's dragon fire liquor? Yeah, you probably would. Yeah. Can I do an inside check on this boat? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna snag that bottle up. Okay, I'm also gonna grab out. two bottles of rum. Okay. Is there any tea? Yes. Uh, there no. is a lack of tea. Like, the only liquids you find on this ship are alcohol. Tim. Uh, wh- what are you trying to... I want like, to figure out what the boat was for. This much alcohol, okay. you're right, is not normal. Yeah. So I'm assuming already that it's probably, like, people doing an illegal, okay. like, uh, rum running or whatever. Uh, so, when, once you look in the cabin, uh, you see just... A lot of empty bottles of alcohol everywhere. So you you kind of assume that it is just an alcoholic ship. Oh, okay. And if you want to investigate the cabin more, you do realize that there are a few things that you would assume are related to magic and like trying to make magic items or figure out how magic items work and stuff. Uh, as well on the desk in the main room in the cabin. Uh, you do find a bag of marbles, and beside it, there's a note that says, Mental note, figure out what these marbles that I made do. And it's in really, like, bad handwriting, so the person was really drunk when they made them. I'm gonna inspect the marbles. Okay, uh, do an arcana check. And that's what I specialize in. Mm-hmm. Not, but... <laughs> that's an 18. Uh, you're... Positive that these marbles have ma- magical or mystical qualities, and each one seems to be different quality. You don't know exactly what any of them do, though. Alright. Um, just that all of them have somewhat different properties. I will cast the check. Uh, yeah. just so you know, if you do insight, you don't think that you'd be able to find out exactly what these do right away. It would take, out. like, quite a few checks to mm-hmm. find out really what way way one out. might be. I guess so. Start rolling marbles. Yeah, um, tech magic doesn't even tell me what everything is. Okay. No, we didn't do that. Um, magic. He can use detect magic to find anything else, though. Yeah, I was, I was just gonna do it. Okay, so this, so, sorry, are we on, still on the cultist boat? Or are we on? Yeah, this is the, we're on the other boat, yeah, but they brought it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take the marbles. Okay. Uh, uh, should I try I test, should I roll one to see what happens? Is there one that's like a peach color? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, just like, I feel like that'd be a good color marble, so. Okay. Learn something about you. 
<laughs> yeah, they're here. No, they don't make speech marks. Uh, there, <laughs> there is one that is somewhat peach. It's kind of peachy pink. Almost. Okay, I'm gonna roll that one. Okay. I'm just gonna take it and just shake it a little bit and then roll it across the floor. Uh, when you roll it, it doesn't do anything up that a normally normal mar- marble. You do think that maybe if you threw it, it might yeah. do something. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't want to sink. <laughs> um, I pick it up. Uh, I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna put it back in the bag. Okay. And I'm I'm gonna leave it Throw as that bag. Now. And you do notice that the bag has some kind of missile missile property of like protection inside it, mm-hmm. so that stuff wouldn't break so inside. I'm there with him, right? Yep. Can I like do an inside check to see if I can figure out what's going on with these marbles? Uh, yeah, sure. Like, uh, can I do an arcana check? I guess arcana then. Arcana. Arcana. There too, for right? magic, it's arcana. Like Tony did get a really high roll yeah, for arcana. Well, I, so I, 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 I thought I might be able to ask Shane something. Yeah, then I'll bless. I guess there's no marbles. point if you roll an 18. Yeah. I mean, I have a plus no, 6, no. but unless I get a 20 yeah, marbles, it's going different. You do believe that the lady or the person who made these marbles was super drunk when they made them? And maybe in a, like, Completely blackout drunk super. So, like, you think they could be anything. Alright, draw. Wow. Okay. Leave <laughs> them in the bag where hopefully, you know, we're safe. And where are you doing detect magic? Yeah, I'll do it on the boat. Okay, see so better. See, what you should do is just grab a whole handful of them. <laughs> yeah. Just chuck them at the boat and see what happens. Yeah. Uh, so, you notice two things. One is that you notice the same movement magic that you noticed before. It's really, really faint in this mm-hmm. ship. And the second thing you notice is that there's a like a fine straw hat that's hanging on the door and it has some magical copies too. Amazing. Okay, well, I will check up the straw hat. Okay. Uh, are you going to put it on? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> you put it on in the distance, you just hear the song Country Roads come on. Uh, <laughs> can you do an arcana check? Okay, we'll do an arcana check. Country roads. Not 20, baby. Uh, you recognize this as a drunkard's hat. And you know that, uh, when, if someone puts it on, they'll know the exact location of the nearest alcoholic beverage. Amazing. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna sell it to somebody. Why? I'm not, I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> My other character. And that is the only, like, besides just Recognizing that some of the equipment on the ship is for making magic items or trying to determine what magic items do. That's the only other magical stuff you recognize. Okay. Alright, well, let's just search the rest of the ship then. Hopefully, somebody here kept a diary. <laughs> You're about those diaries, man. <laughs> uh, as you look around the ship, you do realize that it looks like there was only one inhabitant in the ship. That guy's diary must be just, like, mumbled jumbled. He's like, Dear diary, <laughs> Stacy left me. <laughs> <laughs> and that you don't really find anything else specific to anything or out of place on this ship. Cool. All right. Well, I guess we'll just chalk it up and never see what's in that thing. I will. St- I will walk behind everyone as they go back to the boat with my so bottles of rum. Doing that, I'll just be on the pirate ship, meditating next to the guy um, that I killed. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> up, right? yeah. uh, we are one. I'm gonna pull out that uh, pink pe- peachy marble. Now, and I'm gonna throw it at that boat from the other, from the cultist boat. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but that boat's like away from all of this boat, so I wanna see what's gonna happen. Fucking dragon spawn. <laughs> Six pink dragons. Spawns an Enderman. That was the peachy pink one, right? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, it hits the boat, there's a poop of pinkish peach smoke. Nice. And you don't notice anything else that happens. So, uh, do an insight check, please. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Because well, you're all standing there, you're probably watching this. 24. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't plus play. Oh, there's two, a... 19. 10. Okay, uh, so, uh, Elrenal, you're not really sure exactly why. You think that maybe it was just what you threw it at that might be the problem? Yeah. Two of you 
uh, you immediately think this, and then you think of the few seconds after, but, uh, you believe that if you threw it at a being of some kind, then it would have an effect. Hmm. Here, throw it at me! <laughs> I've nothing to lose! How, how big was like, the smoke? Uh, it covered the entire target that it hit. Oh, okay. Only. okay. Seriously! I, I pull up my notebook. I'm taking notes! Throw it! Let's do this! <laughs> this is really cool! I'm, I'm just down! Like here Are you sure, on. buddy? I am so down for this! Hit me with it! Uh, okay. can you... Well, actually, we're gonna I go am... on the other boat first. No, can yeah. you stand on the other boat? Yeah, you got it! Uh, well, I'm gonna go to the other boat. some sort of safety measure in case, you know... This is He's epic. on the other boat, so if something oh, okay. happens, that's far away from That's good boat. enough for me. All this right. is epic! Very <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hit uh, me! Uh, is what? there another pink? Pink? That was eat? the only pink peachy one. Oh, All of the others are different colors. Um, You could just roll to, for a random one if you wanted. Okay. Uh, what should just I roll? be a d20 roll. Okay. You notice that there are 20 marbles altogether. Now 19. Well, we gotta figure out what to do. We gotta so. figure out what at least you one play of them six does. Marbles um, four. four. four? That's four. Okay. Uh oh. Good thing I was just for checking to yeah. see which marbles of those logos. Uh, you tro- you're throwing it at him, right? Yeah. Okay, uh. Let's it, fucking go! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it hits him and it makes a blinding flash that immediately just blinds you for, uh, the moment at least, and then when you, like, try blinking your eyes to get away, it's still there. Uh, <laughs> Can I do no, it? Right. Can I do some insight, though? Did I just big brain <laughs> blind? Uh, ten. Uh, you believe it'll probably wear off in an hour or two. <laughs> I walk forwards. <laughs> Guys, I'm blind! <laughs> um, I, I, I walk across, like, the plank to the other boat, and I, like, guide him back to the, the cultist boat. What color was that marble? That was a uh, pure white one. I, I take sh- out my notebook, and I sh- try to write <laughs> notes about this blindly. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, oh, this is epic. <laughs> so they they do special effects. So we could assume by color. How's this coming out, by the way? In a completely <laughs> illegible, mate. Uh, can I roll to see how good my writing is? Sure. For <laughs> you won't know what the <laughs> performance. Yeah, performance. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. Oh, I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, I'm really glad that is the one that hit you, but not a different one. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, man. Alright, so should everyone get on the ship atoms. now? How long does it last? Uh, it'll last for a few hours. Oh, okay. If someone could, uh, please guide me, uh, I don't know where the boat is. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a boat. Yeah, um, yes. Aaron Dell yeah. went and got you. Uh, I brought you back to the yeah. cultist boat from the <clears throat> other boat that. Oh, I want to go back to our normal boat. So is we can way, go to uh, Summersdale. Did it affect each marble or? Uh, it'll pay multiple real high arcana checks. It's, um. That's your job, mate. <laughs> yeah, it is. Cool. <laughs> oh, what's your arcana? Uh, it's plus three. Cool. Oh. Uh, so is there anything else that you guys would like to do while you're on any of these trips? Um, did we explore the cultist ship? Not really. We no. just went over to the oh. other. Um, I want to explore their ship. Okay. Uh, you fought. There are five cabins, and that's all on the ship. There's also a trapdoor to a storage area. Uh, I want uh, to check out the cabin. Okay, in the cabin, there's the cabin's cabin, which you assume was the black cloak guys. Uh, in it, there are you find a few like artifacts or like trinkets of some kind. So you do find. One small, small statue of a dragon turtle. Cool. As well, and that is made of emerald. And then you'll also find a small statue of a, uh, a red dragon that's made of ruby. Hmm. Then there's also just like regular captain stuff. So like, compasses and stuff. Cool. As well as, you do find 50 gold pieces in his drawer. Well, I'm gonna take the 50 gold because he can't use it anymore. <laughs> Um, uh, I don't know what I want to do. I'm gonna leave the two dragons. The statues of the dragons. Yeah. You, you guys can explore the rooms too, so. I'm there, I take the dragon statues. Okay. We both sell them for money. Yeah. <laughs> the, the guy who owned them is dead, so. He was evil. He probably stole them from somebody. I feel justified. Uh, Blaze has no need for materialistic things. You can't even see. You do find a book in the cabin. 
How did oh, you find the pocket? <laughs> <laughs> he smells the paper. <laughs> Something like, where are you find? So, no, you, you, you don't actually Something find it. Something smells <laughs> bookish. So you guys do see there is a book in the cabin. It's a first edition of Five Ways to Make Crates. <laughs> they please catch. It's from about, it is written probably around like 30 years ago. Um, or no, I guess 15 years ago. Uh, five Ways to Make Crates. Oh, it's cool. a first edition. Cool. If we collect the set, can we exchange it for something? But when we have, like, book... We steal this book one. We also have, like, book nine. Like, what is this? Do the ways change in every book? Or is it just, like, one extra way per book? No, it, it's new ways every book. Amazing. Yeah. There's so many ways to make So crates. many ways to make crates. <laughs> I never do. I'm going to holster my bottles of rum for a second and start okay. pulling bodies to the middle of the boat. Okay, Exactly yeah, you do that. Do. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. Uh, just take so back. I'll wait. On the ship with interest. Uh, not really, no. Okay, did you pick gold pieces for me? I did. It. Yeah, okay. I, I just grabbed them. Um, and then the other <laughs> cat, like the the quarters. Are there anything or uh, the other members? I guess you find like maybe fifty more silver pieces all together, but there's nothing really of interest in these rooms. From this, you would assume that the cultists only re- recently. Start sailing again to like, capture more artifacts or whatnot. Ooh, maybe we should take this boat and give it to, um, Ali? Yeah, Ali, absolutely. Penny. That knew it was a great. Ali, yeah, maybe she wants this boat. So we'll start a business with her then. It would be <laughs> probably difficult to do that since she has to sail the other boat. Unless you, any of you guys are able to sail a boat. No, I have no clue. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm proficient with painter tools. So, <laughs> um, let's get on your blind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the blades just do the, the Mona Lisa. Um, yeah. I don't think I would. But sailing I navigation. Get... Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> um, the pilot boat. I guess. And a crew. Should we check the, the, the cellar or the trap door or whatever? Yeah, I guess so. We haven't done that yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to check down there. I'll go with okay, so this is where all of the alcohol... No, this is... Yeah, this uh, is the yeah. cultist. Uh, in this cellar, you do find... Uh, what do you find? Uh, uh, in one corner, you find what looks to be a really small set of drums. Yes. Like that could fit in your hands. <laughs> I go investigate it. Okay. Uh, you've heard of stuff like this, and... You believe they are the drums of comedic timing? Yes. And that any time that someone tries to say something funny or something, someone says something funny, you hear <laughs> Amazing. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take them, I guess. Cause, uh, why not? Yeah, I did. Um, works out good for me. There's some food and a bit of wine in the cellar, and you do see a few weapons as well, and a, little, a few pieces of armor as well, that they probably cons- like took off the people that they fought. Nice. Um, is there any good weapons down there? Uh, there's a couple of long swords, a scimitar, a couple of spears, some arrows. Yeah, I'm gonna take the arrows. And there is a mall as well, that says made in mall. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the arrows. How many arrows? <laughs> <laughs> How many arrows are there? Uh, there are about 30. That's all I need. That's all I'm taking, is just take some arrows. Not like I'm gonna hit much, but. You also see a cloak, uh, hanging on one side of the room that is kind of billowing. Uh, I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Roll, uh, investigation or arcana. Oh boy. Uh, both are plus one. Don't matter. That's a five. Uh, you're not sure exactly what this cloak does from just looking at it. Um, uh, Arendelle, what? what's what's taking you so long down there? What are you doing? <laughs> I found this cool <laughs> cloak. Come check it out. <laughs> just no, no, no. Just bring it up. Um, what color is this cloak? Like, what does it look like? Uh, it's like a, it's a really light blue, kind of like Luke Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. <laughs> I'm gonna nerd alert. <laughs> nerd alert. <laughs> I'm gonna throw that puppy on. Okay, bring bring it up here. Uh, I'll have a look. No capes. <laughs> when you put it on, it just no capes. Don't. No capes. At all times that you have it on. 
That's sweet. And I walk up the, or I go up from the trap door and I stand up at the top with my, <laughs> with my hands on my hips. Um, what, what does it do, sir? It's, it just, uh, from what he knows right now, it just flows majestically and as if there's wind. Can I do another thing about you? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Check out this sweet cloak. Oh, I can't see it, but let me feel it with my paws. <laughs> Uh, 25. Yeah, so, so you, like, feel it, and then you, like, put it Smell against it. the cheek. Lick it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, give it a little lick, like, 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 like. Yes, and, yes, and this is triggering some you memories. Like, you believe that it's a cloak of grace, so it'll allow the user to cast Featherfall once per day. Aelrindel, Aelrindel, this smells <laughs> like a cloak of grace. <laughs> Basically, it gives you slow fall. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I said that in character voice. Basically, it gives you slow fall. Yeah. Which I already have. Awesome. Once per day. I will slow fall is awesome. Another fall! Oh. And that's basically all that you find in the cellar, besides mm-hmm. food and a few crates of just items that they might need on their like everyday lives. Amazing. I'm going to lay down. My head hurts. <laughs> <laughs> we should migraine. probably get on your on, on the on our boat. Are, am I? I don't know where I am. <laughs> I, you're on, I our, lead you're him on the back onto boat. our boat. I I was smelling his cloak. I lead you back onto our, the boat. <laughs> Thank you, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> what about you two people? I'm just going back to the boat. Okay. I won't have any rest. I'm going to light my pipe, start blowing some bubbles. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take one of the bottles of rum and uncork it. Oh, <laughs> oh, and no. I'm going to go to the edge of the ship that's pointing with our ship. Yeah. And I'm just going to pour a nice stream to the middle of the boat where I put the bodies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then once the bottle's all nice and empty, I'm going to go back on our boat. You told me this character wasn't a psychopath. He's, you, you'll learn. <laughs> <laughs> I realized when you started out, like, your character was kind of like, uh, ominous and like, you know, like, we weren't sure what's up, but then like when you switch your voice, it, it's, now you're kind of like more like that guy from Thor Ragnarok, like the, the rock dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I find your voice reminds me of, oh, hey there. <laughs> uh, I made of rock, don't let that intimidate you. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to steal this shit, wanna come? <laughs> you guys seem like you're in desperate need of leadership, thank you. Um, uh, Captain! Yes, yes, yes! It's time to sail away. Of course, of course, let's get on to summer sail. And then once we're 40 See, feet away, and she'll, like, away. take off the uh, plank from the ledge of the other ship, take up anchor, and then start to sail away. I'm going to take that ball, and I'm going to whip it at the back of the boat, Okay, sail away from, and I'm going to cast uh, Firebolt at it. Okay. Igniting the flame. Uh, you're able to hit it, and it, ex- it explodes and spreads fire all across the boat, especially the pile of dead bodies. I walk up to uh, Farron and I say, uh, was that really necessary? Oh, it's you. Um, yes, um, see, I didn't want to leave any evidence of any sort of, uh, problems in case authorities came by in the waters. Yeah. Trade routes and stuff, you, you know? You realize the amount of smoke that's gonna create. It's okay, we you like won't a giant know. beacon. <laughs> the purpose is to not know that it was us. We could have found any sort of thing to find out if it was us. Um, what do you call that? Evidence. <laughs> As he talks, uh, Blaze just walks by. Kind of listening. He's like, you're crazy. <laughs> and then it was like, keep walking. And then he says it as he walked past him. No, not well, quite. You're walking. <laughs> just over to the map. <laughs> I don't know. You I don't can't know where see that is. <laughs> <laughs> you should just like roll performance to see. I'm just walking around. The, All I imagine yeah. is you walk and you go, you sound crazy. And then you hit the side and just get like, <laughs> like fall right over here. <laughs> yeah. What's this big metal thing? <laughs> And then you hear Ali shout out from the front, Someone watch over him! <laughs> what? That's the fourth voice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to blaze. Where's he, where's he walking to actually? Uh, let's see. Uh, you're walking to the bow of the ship. Huh. This seems safe. Should I keep going forward? No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Down, man. Stand in place. I just lay down. <laughs> You're cold. Um, you're cold. Oh, you're cold. hot. <laughs> Someone wants to bring him to like a, a bed or something. Some place indoors. You do it, man. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna have a quick cat nap right here. <laughs> oh, cat nap. I see what you do. All right, yeah, just don't move. If you want to move? Tell someone. <laughs> Start rolling. <laughs> uh, I oh, wouldn't boy. mind taking a rest. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go in the crow's nest and sleep. Yeah, I'll take sleep. A long so rest. it would probably take about another, let's say. 
eight hours. or eight hours exactly nice. before you get to your summer <laughs> sale or before summer <laughs> sale is in sight actually. So we were able to have a long rest. <clears throat> uh, so you have lo- your long rest. You gain back all your hit points, all your spell slots, etc. Did get hit? Ah, uh, yeah. Did. Uh, uh, yeah. You did. I had 15 yeah. He got hit hard. Yeah. <laughs> 20, 21. 21. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get hit. I did some badass fighting. Do, you seem to be the only one that's people. getting hit. I'm the only one who yeah, gets hit, and I can't hit anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I never hit. Like I do uh-huh. every battle. So you have an extra 2 AC. <laughs> yeah. Might be worth it. Uh, so, so I can see you again? Uh, yeah, you can see you again. <laughs> and you guys all wake up to Allie yelling down to you guys to come back up on deck and come see, come see, uh, cause summer, summer sale is in sight and it doesn't seem right. You know, for uh, me, I just have to go uh, down uh, from. Wait, today. wait, sorry, sorry. She said it doesn't seem right. Yeah, something um, seems I surreal. Sh- I stop meditating and I throw on my cloak and walk up. Okay. Uh, if you want the belly says nice cloak. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I found on that. <laughs> Calls a ship. This whole day has been off. And then, yep. yeah. And this, then, uh, when you look to the front of the ship and look to, uh, Summer Sail. Look to the lamp, you see Summer Sail. And you don't see any ships moving at all. Which is really weird because mm. it's a huge, it's the biggest port city of Teldania. Biggest city of Teldania at that too. Mm. And you don't see any ships moving in or out of the harbor, they're all just sitting at the harbor. Um, friends, does this seem kind of strange that, uh, no boats are moving in one of the largest ports? Can I do a history check? Sure. To see what the city's normally like? See yeah. how different it really is? Yep. This feels strange. <laughs> That's, uh, that one. You're still blind. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> Whose boat is this? <laughs> Who are you guys? <laughs> I had a long day. <laughs> yeah, so just due to, like, you being blind and that being kind of traumatic to you, uh, you're still getting over that and you don't, you can't really think of anything about the city at the moment. That really wasn't a good idea for me to throw that at you. <laughs> at least it was that one, I guess. It could have been a lot worse. Who are you? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm amnesia, bro. <laughs> Where's Rachel? <laughs> um, Captain. Yes. Uh, does it seem, uh. <laughs> Does it seem normal that, uh, no boats seem to be moving at this point? It, I've never seen, <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never seen this port like this. There's always at least like 20 ships either leaving or entering or both. That's a poor port. <laughs> right, well, what should we do? Abort. <laughs> I say we port the fort. Well, that's the ship gonna dog, seems to be but... the only safe place for me. <laughs> <laughs> the ship with the female captain, which is bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> you got him. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry, you guys just wanted to continue on? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I, on. I, I guess, like, I want to yeah, investigate oh, this port. Now. I'll check yeah. out the city. As you approach, uh, you see the full scale of the city, so. Large buildings rise from, from the city to heights of up to a hundred feet. Shining gold marble statues stand guard all throughout the town. The city is as, as pristine as the day is, is built, and not one building seems damaged, burnt, or otherwise harmed. Up to 150 different ships of different kinds and shapes lay still and wait at the port. However, as you get closer, you notice that you don't see any people around, and an eerie silence hangs over the buildings. As you get closer, the only sounds heard in the city are the whisper of the wind and the flapping of some flags. The only beings you can see in the city is a pack of wolves that are exploring the streets. Can I do an arcana check to see what, what, what happened here? Because you're not quite in the city, you probably wouldn't have be able to okay. detect anything. Is it? When we get there, I'm going to do that, though, because I yeah. get I have a suspicious feeling. Well, Blaze has a suspicious feeling that it's just uh, more movement magic again. 
This does seem strange that we've seen like we've been following the trail of the same thing. Just random disappearances. No, it felt really normal to me. <laughs> <laughs> really normal. <clears throat> Ellie will say that he's never seen anything like this. Alright, well, what should we do? It all started with that missing dolphin. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> you killed the golfer. We don't know that. It could be fine. I saw another one jump out, or no, it's the same one <laughs> <laughs> that, that jumped out of the water. After okay. you killed that dolphin, everything is just going wrong. No, you it. made me blind. I didn't do anything. I didn't kill anyone. I think Aaron Dell completely thinks that Aaron is like a psychopath at this point. <laughs> fine. <laughs> Um, as we slowly approach the city, I, I'm gonna put up my hood. Uh, I'm gonna put the cloak over my, my head. <laughs> cover my face, and I'm gonna have, um, I'm actually gonna pull my longbow. And just wield that. Okay. In case. Sword. <laughs> and wield my sword like a bow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we have now reached land, so, uh, Ali has landed the ship right at one of the docks, and you guys are able to get out, if you so want. And that is where we'll leave off on this episode of A Deal with Demons. Come check out what happens next, next time on Nat 20.